Hello, thank you for joining Matthew's Digital. My name is Aaron, and today we are going to continue our discussion on inquiry routines. We are going to see the second type of inquiry routines, which is build routines. Build routines are used to manipulate selection criteria in inquiry. Let me show you what I mean. I have this inquiry. It is called mtdcast.ac.list. So if I launch it, the first thing which I see is this box. So this box is called selection criteria box. So a build routine is used to manipulate this selection box. So in this box, we have different parts. So we have uh, the name of inquiry, we have different fields, we have operands, and we have actual values. So if I want to have accounts in a specific uh, currency, I can use this inquiry and I say currency equals, let's say, USD. Okay? So my inquiry is we select only accounts being in this category. So this is called selection criteria box. Now that you understand what I mean by selection criteria, let's continue our discussion on bid routines. So bid routines accept one dynamic array as parameter. And the parameter will consist of everything which we just seen uh, in this selection criteria. So we have the first value of this dynamic array as the name of the inquiry. And then the second value consists of the field names. Third value consists of operand. And fourth, the actual value. Why do we need build routines? Well, a build routine can be used in case you have a special selection criteria. To be able to understand the use of build routines, uh, I have prepared a small assignment. Assume you are tasked to create an inquiry which is going to display a list of current and savings account. And you have a special assignment. A list of accounts to be returned should be in these categories, okay? So the account to be selected should be in these categories. You are not allowed to add any other categories or re remove any other category. If you leave this task to the user, we are human. Uh, you may miss one category or you might add another category. So to use this list and selection criteria each time you want to launch this inquiry can be risky. So the solution would be to have this as fixed selection criteria. Let's try to do that. But this list is long and it might not work. So let me show you what I mean. Let's modify our inquiry. Inquiry R MTD dot cast dot AC dot list. Okay, we have fixed selection criteria three point one. Well, let's go to four point one. Let me expand. And you might tempt to say category equals and you get your list. Copy and paste it here. But as you can see, the system says too many characters. So this selection a box has its own limitation. You cannot put a, such a long list of categories as a fixed 
selection criteria. It won't work. Okay? So here the solution is obvious, is to use a build routine. And the build routine won't have this limitation. So let's do that. Now, to save our time, I have already created this subroutine. It is very easy to understand, and let me explain it to you. So, as I have already explained, a built routine receives one parameter, and this parameter serves as inward and outward parameter at the same time. And this parameter is a dynamic array. So what we want is to have uh, a fixed selection criteria. So we want to have category equals to this list of categories. And that's all. And then this is going to return uh, this selection criteria. Whenever a user launches this uh, inquiry, the system will, will do this selection. Okay? All right. So before attaching uh, this subroutine to our inquiry, let's launch it and see how it looks like. Okay? So, ink mtd dot. Cast dot ac dot list with that in selection criteria let me launch so we have current accounts we have no straw accounts savings we have some mortgage accounts So as you can see, we have deposit account, OD accounts, and we even have suspense account, by the way, account, personal loan, mortgage, AA mortgage. So we have suspense accounts, okay? So it's a lot. Can you even see this in a browser? Let's launch it. Okay. Let's see how it looks like. All right. So, as you can see, we have different categories. Deposits, current, savings, even internal accounts, by the way. Like suspense account, mortgage, AA mortgage. Even a suspense accounts, so like daily difference, suspense account debit, and so on. So you see, it's selecting all the accounts. Now that we see uh, that our inquiry is selecting all these categories, let's attach our subroutine and see the changes, okay? So I'm going to grab the name of subroutine and I'm going to amend our inquiry. So inquiry is called mtd.cast.ac.list. So you attach your subroutine on field 12. Okay, so let's move to field 12 and paste our inquiry. All right, it is done. So you need to go back to log out and log in again to see the changes. Now, uh, I think in the browser as well, if you want to see the changes in the browser, I need to log out as well. If 
But let's start with uh, classic and see. Okay. Now we can launch our inquiry again in qmtd.cast.ac.list. Now, without any selection criteria, as you can see, we have current account, current account, savings account, current account, is a current account as well. current and saving. So nowhere we have, we don't have any, this is the last. We only have current and savings account. As you can see, it has worked. And the user did not have to put any uh, selection criteria, okay? Uh, let's do the same in the browser. We see. So, So our inquiry is called mtd.cast, here it is, let's launch it, all right, so we can move to the next pages, we only see current and savings account, as you can see, only current and savings account have been selected. So we don't have any other categories. So our bid routine is working. This inquiry, we always return the same result as we wish. Current and savings account in those 13 categories. That's all. Okay. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. You now know how to use build routines. Please consider subscribing if you haven't. Share and like this video. In our next video, I'm going to share with you the plan for next year. So stay tuned. See you next. Bye-bye.